Alrighty, so for those of you who know who your God ordained uh, person is, you have gotten the prophetic dreams, the prophetic words, revelations, scriptures, people have prophesied to you and told you that that is the one that God has for you, this message is for you. If you are struggling with the waiting process, the waiting of it all, then not knowing what's going on the why is it taking so long god what are you doing um i made this video not too long ago and i still keep getting this question i need for, okay i need some y'all to take some time and look through my videos as if i've made a video on everything honey but i will go over it again rather than focus on the person focus on god number one yourself and the promise, the promise being the marriage promise, your marriage promise. God already called you to be a wife. God already called you to be a husband. Focus on that instead because if we focus on what these people are doing, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. And one thing the enemy cannot take away from us is our marriage promise. He can take away that person, right? He can distract him with a counterfeit. He can put another person in front of them, witchcraft, oh, he can do all of that. But he cannot take your marriage promises from you. Go figure somebody. <laughs> he, 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 he can't take your, our, marriage, our marriage promises. He can take that person, right? He can take that person. Do, do what you want with that person, right? But he can't take your marriage promise from you. So again, Focus on the marriage promise. I know that that is hard. But is it really hard, though, to get up every day and say, I'm already a bride, I'm already uh, a groom, I'm already a wife, I'm already a husband. I am already what God has said I am. Is that really hard to do that every day? It's not. We make it hard because we're so focused on the person and what they're doing that we just can't see straight. And that's okay because we're human. I'd be lying if I got up here and said I didn't have moments with this where I was battling and struggling and going through because I've had tons and tons and tons of moments where your girl was battling and going through, honey. Like, uh, uh, that's it for me. But what I am learning right now is if I don't focus on my marriage promise and I focus on what the person that God told me is mine or supposed to be mine, what they're doing, I'm going to lose it and I'm not going to be able to make videos for you all. So I actually enjoy making Christian content. I actually enjoy this. So I'm not going to let no man get in the way of what God is calling me to do. No, ma'am, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm going to focus on this, focus on my group, focus on my sisters in Christ that God has blessed me with, focus on my mama, my child, the Lord that I got above, you know, flowing and growing and keeping Lena on the right track. That's what I'm going to do for myself. And y'all should do the same thing for yourselves as well. Focus on God. All of that energy that y'all are giving to these people. And you know, it's power too. Y'all don't know that? You you think about somebody all day, that's power. But no, your mind all day, that's power. You ever realize you, you end up drained, worn out, and tired. You know, like I was all I did was think about them. Thinking about somebody is power. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Right? So if we stop doing that, we think about God all day. Because when you think about it's something about thinking about God all day that changes you from the inside out it also shifts whatever is going on up here especially if you battle with mental health or uh the devil can you can easily be distracted by the devil if you learn how to keep your mind on god god automatically just does something to you from head to toe so it's a training thing as soon as that person pops up into your head, be thankful for that person. Give God praise and thanks. I thank you for this person. Say a quick prayer for them. Move it along. Go open your word up. Go find you some scripture. Say you a quick prayer. Go back to focusing on God. Go back to focusing on yourselves. Find you something else to do. This is why I've been telling you how to stay off the social medias. Now, now this is another thing that will happen too. The algorithm. Don't forget about the algorithm. When you click on things, when you go, so if I go visit my person's page, right, the next thing you know, it's going to be a whole bunch of his posts are going to stop popping up because I had no business being on his page in the first place. So TikTok or even Instagram's out is going to pick up what I'm looking at. So if you are looking at this person, 
there's if even if y'all are not following each other that stuff is gonna pop up out of nowhere now sometimes sometimes it can be the Lord's doing too but God might need you to pray and he'll put that person in front of your face all over so let's say they're on social media you might be called um, being called or led to pray for them so they might be popping up because of that but nine times out of ten it's really the algorithm <laughs> because you don't win you, you win that search bar you typed out their name you were being nosy searching and trying to figure out what they're up to now you're feeling rejected now you're feeling tired now you're feeling worn out now you're feeling like i'm about to give up this person is not for me now you got them on a time a time period they got 90 days father they got 20 days father <laughs> if they don't come in and do this and do that and do that i get it because i've been there recently right might i add because i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all very recently okay i'm not ashamed <laughs> so Stop looking at their pages when they even if they do pop up. Let's say you haven't been on their pages for quite some time and they just popping up. Click not interested and just scroll on by. Or delete the app, <laughs> delete search history, clear your search engines, clear your cache, and just find a way to get them off of your pages and do something like that. But for the most part, just click not interested. I'm not gonna say block them. I might have said that in the past. Block them. If you need to block them, you feel like you need to block them, God is leading you to block them so you can focus, do your thing. <laughs> do your thing. Do your thing. But I'm just going to say click not interested. <laughs> click not interested. Or just just and find you something else to do. You, th this is also a way to build your strength, right? To work on your strengths. Because it's a weakness when you see them. You just, I'm just going to take a little peek and the next thing you know, you're looking through everything. Let's stop doing that. Stop focusing on what they got going on. Focus on what you and God got going on. Focus on what you need to do. What's your credit looking like? What's your money like? Do you like the job that you're at? Do you have a good attitude? What's your heart posture like? Are you kind? Are you gentle? Are you loving? Is your mental health good? Do you know how to pray? Do you know 20 scriptures? Do you know the word? Do you know what Abraham's wife's name was? Like what? Do you know anything? You know what I'm saying? So I, I would suggest that many of y'all pull yourselves out that um, negative energy and focus on God. Because you need to be surrounded by all things positive, including positive distractions. Put you some praise and worship music on. Put you some music that feeds your soul. Put some of that on. Open up your words. Pray. Walk through your, your apartments, your homes, wherever you live in. Walk through and invite God. Right? Invite God in. And watch the spirit move. We have to snap out of it. Some of y'all need to take a nap. A lot of y'all are not even well rested. Y'all tired, worn out, weary, dried and fried. You need to take a nap. You got to go take you a nap and get you some rest. You need it, okay? Find you something else to do. Go paint. Go draw. Go write. Go take a walk. Go work out. Go read the Bible. Go read a book. Go do your hair. Go get your feet done. Get your nails done. Go, you know, do something positive to distract you from those things. As soon as you see that person on on your social media, or you feel like you got to go text them, go read a scripture. Go pray. Or go text a friend. Say, sis, I'm about to text this man. I need to stop me, please. Do stuff like that. Put the energy and your focus back on yourselves. Redirect your attention back to yourselves and God, okay? And I'm not going to sit up here and say that's easier said than done. No, it's not that hard to focus on God. You just have to want to do it. The problem is we tend to want to focus on these people. We want to be daydreaming about them all day. Daydream about Jesus and how he died on the cross for you and gave up his life. How about you go do that? That's what you need to go do. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, bye.